you doing? Well, today is Wednesday, the December the 15th. It's like after one o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. And uh, we're out, me and my, Miles and myself were out for a ride. This is like the second time, and she ain't doing bad. This is the second time she's ridden this bike since she's had it. And she hasn't ridden in 20, 25, 30 years, something like that. So, yeah, I know the bike looks kind of small, but that's what she wanted. She didn't want a uh, adult, adult bike because of first thing, she's probably like 4'11", 5 foot. And second off is, like I said, she hasn't rode a bike in years. So, you know. She gets what she wanted. Everything's doing good. Miles and myself are doing well. Uh, Miles is down to two days a week for therapy, physical therapy. <clears throat> okay, this is one of our Christmas presents. Hope everybody's doing good. Trying to maintain your sanity. I really don't know how things are going back in the States as far as this epidemic. But here, they're starting to kind of loosen up things. Yes. We're just going out for, I mean, we're not, we're not going to a certain place. Just Miles, Miles wants to get some practice in, like she said. She hasn't ridden a bike in a while. And I'm not no expert, so. Like I said, both of us want to be more active. Do things. Physical things, not. Like we said, the only, only vehicle we own is a truck, and I barely use that. To be honest with you, I really don't trust it. I wouldn't take it on any, any long journeys. Being fear that it won't make it. Well, I think it's like a two, two cylinder, four cylinder of that. Four speed transmission. Pete, the thing's not. I don't think I don't think you could ever drive it in the States. Well maybe you could. I mean it has the lights and the horn and the windshield wipers emergency brakes but people would look as you drove by <laughs> be like what the hell is that it's not the most beautiful so actually I call it the ugly tour or the Tonka toy well Christmas is coming we got what 10 days 10 days left 9 days if you were yeah 9 days let's say Christmas Eve 9 days and uh, Christmas Eve, Miles was going to have some friends of ours over, Mary Lou and Roger and his fam their family. Now, Miles was going to cook everything, and I was like, you know, do you really want to do all that? So there's a restaurant that does takeout, and we just, we already ordered it. Enough food to feed how many people? <laughs> like 20 people or something like that? Fifteen. Well, I think it's a little bit more. Each, each, each meal, right? We got two of them, and I think it feeds up to what? How many people eat? Nine. So we got plenty of food. Yeah, well, of course, that's a given. Rice, just throw it in the ice cooker and turn it on, and boom, it's done. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, like I said, you know, Miles could cook, don't get me wrong, she can cook, but just us two, and we're having them people come over, like I said, and her son, and her son and his, his family's coming over. So, uh, 
At least I think Brian's coming, right? Brian and his wife Saul and his son Liam. They're coming over, so you know it's just a Christmas Eve. They don't have, they don't make a big deal like they do in the states about Christmas Eve. It's not all about the, the gifts. Actually, gifts have nothing to do with it. As Miles told me that it's not. It's, they don't do the gift thing. Yeah, I mean, they don't expect you to give them a gift. That's what I'm trying to say. Families get together. Yeah, families get together, have dinners, or dinner, and whatever else they want to do. But it's not gift giving or anything like that. But it'll be nice you know, to have people over. Break the monotony of things up. You know, it's required. Hello. Plus, Mimi and Mucky are doing good. I know it's everybody's concern. <laughs> Mimi and Mucky, the two children, actually the two spoiled brats, and dogs are spoiled, of course, you know. Miles plays like she don't spoil, but she does. She cooks some dinner every night. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't believe that, that song and dance. She spoils it. Huh? Where are you going? What are you talking about? The what about it? Oh, I ain't worried about that dog. Usually they don't bother you. I've been down here before. They bark, but not times they don't bother you. Now, is this still so considered a dog where we're at? Still don't consider it a dock. Go duck. Yeah, I'm to the left. I got some corn. I got some corn growing too already. Yeah, I got some husk growing. Yeah. I don't think we ever been down this far. You tell me when you want to turn around. Here? Yeah, she gets kind of nervous once she gets too far out. Okay. Turn around? Okay. I thought you said yes. What house? Oh. Yeah. Looks like they stopped. Probably didn't have, ran out of money. As I said before, here people they don't they build as they have the money, you know. Like when a, people get first get married, they have a little small, tiny one room house. Then as the year goes on and the family growing, they add on to it. That's how it mostly happens. And there's no mortgages. In other words, they pay as they go. So they'll save for a couple of years, or they'll save for a while, and then they'll. Nine times out of ten, the man is the one who's building it with his family, his brothers, or whatever, help build them, help build it. Oh, we're at the end of the road. What do you want to do? Turn around? Yeah, yeah it's all dirt road. And I don't, I'll get ahead of you, and then you go ahead and turn around, and I'll come up behind you. I'm just kind of worried about her. Like I said, this is only her second time since she had this bike. The first time wasn't really anything. It looks, it looks kind of funny. But, that but it fits her. No, she did, she just did not want a uh, full out elf size bike.
And what we'll do is each each time if we feel like it, we'll go we'll go out further somewhere, you know. You get used to the bike and everything like that. I don't want you falling and hurting yourself. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just don't know it. You cannot, you cannot avoid that. I know when you fall and it's an a, it's a natural reaction. If you fall on your left side, you're going to use your left arm to kind of block it or do something, and then like the opposite on the right side. So that's why I say just be careful. That's why I really didn't wish you didn't bring them bags. No, seriously, because. I understand that, but that that gets caught up on your wheel, front wheel. It'll flip you over, or stop you real fast. You're not going fast enough to flip, but it'll stop you real fast. And now, what's this? Is this the summer or the winter month? Well, it should be one winter month, but you know, it's the summer well, I don't know. I don't think there is really a difference in temperature. <laughs> it's supposed to be the winter month. It's 80, 84 degrees outside. That's winter. Yeah, it could be 90, right? I think the only seasons they have here is wet and dry season, to be honest with you. Those dogs could care less, Miles. See that? I don't know if you can see it. Probably, or you might be able to see it off to your left hand side. The, uh, the mountain range. See the mountain range there? That stretch is going east for a couple of miles, and that's what blocks all the bad weather, like the uh, Sasamis, whatever they're called. I think they have names on there. That's what kind of helps block them from coming this way. Because they never come from the west, they always come from the east. Sasamis and typhoons, typhoons and stuff like that, they're always coming in from the west, or the east, I'm sorry, the east. Hopefully next year, first of next year, sometime the first of the year, I'm going to go for get my uh, permanent residence, permanent residency. Mine, uh, and uh, like I said, people say, "Oh, well, start, nothing's." When? They did it again? Mm -hmm. A local store? Yep. I feel so... The, the region okay. south of us is a like local... Yeah, we're located in the local market and all the way to the day that you've been going anywhere in here. Yeah. Well, I just feel so sorry for the people in the local store. That's the region south of us. Them people can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, you know... You ain't gonna, I ain't gonna vote for you, Governor, again. This guy, well, last time we went to the beach, okay, when we're sitting on the beach on the local Snorte side, right, you can see the beach on, from, on the uh, local surf side. We're not that far from the, the border. And, uh, yeah. And the, the beach is completely empty. Our beach has got people on it, it's, it's crowded. You know, people walking around with masks on and stuff like that. But their beaches are completely, they're, they're in complete lockdown. And what, get, what I'm trying a hard time understanding is the, the town of Vegan. Is it Vegan? Yeah. Alright, Vegan is a really big tourist spot. That is the capital, capital of Okay, that's the capital. Capital city of uh, local surf. Okay, but it has a lot of history there too. 
I mean, there's a lot of, I, I, I went there one time, man, and this is before I came here for permanent stay. Yeah, and it's great. It was nice, man, the buildings and everything like that. Because what happened is that, uh, Spanish, the Spaniards occupied that area quite heavily. And you can see the, the Spanish influence on the buildings and stuff. Yes, they got old buildings there. So historically, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's if anybody's in there looking at old buildings and stuff, which I like doing, is that's the place to go, you know? A lot of history there. And they're on lockdown. I just feel sorry for the business owners and stuff like that. How are they making it? You know, I wonder how they're making it. But, uh, says hello to me every day and I have no idea who he is. <laughs> but he's fun. Miles is behind me so I gotta slow down. I don't want to make this video too long, you know. There's some more corn. I wonder if they got any husk on them yet. I don't see any. Nope, not yet. <laughs> no, just down. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. I just see a couple. I don't know what picking season is for the harvest season, I guess you'd say. Hey, when's the harvest season for corn? Yeah. February? Or oh. well, whenever it's ready, right? <laughs> you can't dict. You can't. Yeah, because I got a lot of husk on them. I can see them. Yeah. I'm just curious how far I can do this video without people saying, oh, this, this this sucks and, th and turn it off. <laughs> I mean, but, but I was like I was saying before, man, I've watched some videos that are like a half hour long and they were so boring. And you got like 6,000 views and you're like, what? Oh. But it's boring. The guy's just like that one guy, okay? Sitting there getting drunk, talking shit. Louis, Louis ain't, I don't know. But people watch them. I guess he's got like, I don't know how many subscribers, the 30,000 subscribers. I got a whole whopping 33. <laughs> I know, man. It don't bother me. I, I, like, I joke about it. I think it's funny in a way, in a sad, pathetic way. <laughs> Are you shifting gears? You, you should. Hi. 
And you shifting gears? I'll wait for her. Yeah, I don't think she knows what shifting gears. Okay, we can go. You wanna go down this way? Okay. You know you can shift gears on that, right? I know that. <laughs> Here, wait a minute. I got to Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't think she realized that she could shift gears. I did not. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> I'll show you how to shift. These are the gears right here. There your gears right there. These are your gears. Number four. All right. Where's it at now? Number one. Okay. What's this one? Oh, you'll be in fifth gear. All right. <laughs> it's all right. You don't know. She, know. she never rode a bike with gears on it. All right, you go ahead and go first. Now, don't be in a lower gear. Be aware. Go ahead and pedal. <laughs> oh. She's funny. She's funny. Yeah. I laugh all the time. Not laugh at her. I laugh with her. But she's got a good sense of humor, too. She laughs at herself. Now, see that? How's that feel? How's that feel? I'm going with a light. Alright, see on the right hand side, see that little knob sticking out, the smaller one? Yeah. Go ahead and push that back a little bit. Push it back. No, 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 right, right, not the left, the right. Back? Yes. Now try it. How's that? Yeah, like I said, she's never rented a, a bike that you can shift the ears on. How's that now? Okay. Yeah, they all you do is shift. The one on your left, the gear shift on your left is to put it in in the first series, one through five. Is this Teletino? Hey. Yes. Right here. Sorry. Oh, almost got hit. I'll show you when we get home about the gears. I, my fault, I should have told you. I, I'd take blame for that. Mouth, mouth. Yeah, that's a Philippine, Philippine driver. Just run you right off the road. Mm. Alright, we're home. Yeah, I still got a paint. All right, hey, what house? I'll go ahead and let you go. Talk to you all later. Love you. Bye.